So what's going on here? What are you doing right now? I am setting up a Nile monitor that is probably going to kill me in a bit, but I think we can get it done. Nice. I spy with my little eyes. Carlos! Oh! Hey, uh, you gotta record her, not me. <laughs> what is up, you guys? So we're back. It's been a while. But right now, we're at our favorite reptile shop, Reptile Factory. So what's going on right now is my wife actually started working here, right? One of the main bosses is actually teaching her how to handle one of the animals that they're about to put in one of the enclosures. And that animal had be, happens to be an eye monitor, which I have. You probably, I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know if I've logged in at any of my other vlogs. They can get pretty aggressive on the mines of bitch. Yeah. Like, it's heavy, bro. It's huh? heavy. Yeah. It's annoying, dude. Like, last time he got a, a good hold of me, I couldn't get him off. Like, eh, just got off my finger. Don't give me a hot and warm water. Say what's up, warm water. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Glad to see everybody's okay. <laughs> That was Peter. If you want to know anything and everything about any type of uh, reptile that you may have, he's one of the guys to go to. He knows a lot. And I mean a lot. A lot of people will tell you certain things, but you know, he'll tell you the correct thing. If somebody gives you some knowledge that's incorrect, he will call it out and he will tell you for sure. I'm just here waiting because my wife gets off at night. I'm not sure what time it is, but we still got some time to kill here. So we're just gonna see what the hell we do and record a little bit of it. Who's holding it right now? His name is Carlos. He's one of the main bosses in here, like I said. And if you see the way he was grabbing that Nile monitor, they can get pretty aggressive sometimes, especially you know, if they're being introduced into a new environment. You know, obviously they're scared. Sometimes they don't know what's going on, so they're gonna try to attack you, you know, bite you or whip you with um, with their tail. You have to have a certain hold on it and a good grip on it too, because especially the neck area actually because they turn it can turn around and bite you on your finger and especially a good sized monitor kit take a good chump off your of your skin you know That was a very intense moment. I'm sorry, sweating myself. Look at this. Ah, how did that feel? Good. I need more than just a good. I'm all right. Quick question. Sorry about you, but since starting here, do you feel like you've learned a lot more? Oh yes, definitely. And what would you say is the best thing so far about Reptile Factory? Everything, people, attitudes. It's a great place to work. Sorry, I'm trying to focus in right here. <laughs> Do you see yourself ever leaving this place? Not anytime soon. I think I'm gonna grow a lot here. I think this has to do with what I plan to do in life. So, I think I'm gonna be here for a while. If not, I'm gonna just age out of here. Or I'll die here because I'm gonna get bit by something. And there's a lot of stuff you can get bit by, or stung by, and probably die. So we all drink Powerade, right? This is a bottle cap from the Powerade. You can more or less figure how, well, how big the bottle cap right, is. So imagine a scorpion uh, that size, and it's a baby. It's called a death stalker. And literally, if you were to get stung by one of these, and how babies uh, can't control how much venom they pump into an animal or a human, you probably have, if there's any hospitals nearby that actually have um, What's it called? The cure to the venom. You have about half an hour until you're pretty much dead. It's insane. It's literally this damn tiny. Like I said, almost a bottle cap from Pirate size. But it's insane. Just the stuff that can kill you. And it's like it's tiny compared to you. So right now my wife's still in training mode and right now behind us she's um, counting stuff that should be counted. So I'm not gonna bother her for a little bit. But we're gonna do a little cinematic scene of some of the stuff and products, you know, that they sell here at Reptile Factory. That's 
pretty damn cool. So, like I said, I recommend that you guys go to here, Reptile Factory in Riverside. That's our place to be. You know, that's where we love coming. Super, super local for us, and it's just always amazing here. And I don't, I don't say that just because she works here. I truly do believe that this is the top reptile shop here in the IE and anywhere pretty much close by. But let's do cinematic scene. Peter, tell us who you are. Well, I, I just said your name, but tell us what is your your position here at uh, Reptile Factory. Glass, wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm a professional animal shit cleaner. All I do every day is clean animal shit, multiple different species, multiple different smells, multiple different textures. Got your back no matter what you want. As you can tell, he is not kidding. <laughs> As I can see right now, Peter and Monica. Oh my God, he spotted me. As I was saying, Peter and Monica are doing their daily duties. I'm just trying to be as quiet as possible so I don't get seen again. Let's, let's watch. Okay, it's the boring. As we can see, we see Carlos taking pictures of animals. I gotta stay very still. <laughs> Fuck! So they just kicked me out of the shop because I was bugging them a lot. Not explain. No, uh, my wife was about to get out, so I had to get out of there just for them to properly close up, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. You know, I hope you guys didn't find it boring. So my future plan is to buy another ca either another camera or this one called the Osmo Pocket. So it's a very small little um, camera on the gimbal. But I wanna get another camera just so I can vlog because I only have one working camera right now that works with, uh, for videos. Because it's a hassle, you know, taking this camera off the, um, off the gimbal and then putting it back on. I don't want to mix the footage that I'm doing on either a gig and then have like half of it um, half of it like the actual gig footage and then the other half is like vlog and it's just to be a hassle just to look go through the entire thing and sort it all out you know anyways like I said I'll go hope you guys enjoyed this vlog you know like share subscribe comment I want to start building this uh, YouTube channel up once again you know I'm gonna have more time on my hands I was working the graveyard shift at Amazon but I resigned from there, so now I got way more time on my hands and I'm feeling motivated and you know good about this whole thing. So like I said, you know, share me with all your friends, you know, shout me out on your pages, you know, and I'll shout you out on Instagram by the way. You know, shout me out on your Instagram pages and then I'll give you guys a shout out too, you know, help each other out. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace.